already have the battle at full swing. And instead of seeing 140 men in the garrison, we already have only 100 men. Um, so even and even with that, we have I counted quickly counted. We have about 12 lords, um, and excluding King Rob Stark, they are you know about 1,100 men each, uh, or at least an average. Um, so with Rob Stark, that's 1,400 men against our uh, weakened men. So that would be 250 men against 1,400. And that simply isn't going to work out. So uh, Hold's going to fall, uh, and I think we'll uh, retreat back to Dragonstone. We'll now have to fortify Duskenil. We're still going to make enough money. Um, that's okay. Our monetary situation is looking pretty good. In fact, we can actually check that out. We just had a weekly budget report um, just uh, a few days ago. We can quickly check this out and talk to uh, the Seneschal here. So let's inspect the treasury. So we've got 130 thousand uh let's actually withdraw some of that because because i might need that f for well recruitments and stuff so yeah that's okay we still got a hundred thousand coins in there and yeah the garrison here is obviously not looking too good but let me quickly see uh, do we have prisoner tower has been built oh yes that is so so good um so actually you know what that means i can drop you guys off in the garrison um, so Theon Greyjoy, Cotter Pike, so Harry Swift of the Riverlands, John Umber of the North, Raymond Frey of the Riverlands. Unfortunately, Goral Goodbrother managed to escape. Um, so we only got five prisoners here, but that is uh, pretty good already. All right. Now, I obviously, these are the men I picked up from uh, Dusk and I'll probably put them back into the garrison there. And we need to talk to Sir Vlad about his skills. Now, um, yeah, let's actually do that right now. Um, now, Sir Fled is obviously a member of the Warrior Sons. He's also on the Council of the Most Devow, and he certainly is a candidate uh, to lead the Faith Militant in, in battle. Uh, so we'll have to see. Perhaps I want to give a bit more... Yeah, I definitely need to give him a bit more charisma. And, um, yeah, I suppose we'll give him more looting skill for now. And we'll just try and get that up to get some more leadership going. And we'll increase your 2 weapon strength. Uh, that's fine. Uh, you are a fighting machine for sure. Uh, not sure if you're the greatest leader though. Uh, yeah, I, I doubt it actually. But yeah, so our monetary situation is looking good. This is the only good thing we can say. And I do believe we're going to be able to at least defend the Claw Isle. And uh, well, I hope uh, Duskendale as well. So we'll make our way back. Hole's going to fall. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, I might. You know what? You know what? I might try. While we're waiting here, it could be a good idea to check and see... If, uh, if we can maybe attack Ash, not, not Ashford, but the Yantlers, just to free, uh, just to free, uh, so Bank apparent. Okay, we lost hold to the north. Yeah, that was, that was relatively quickly actually. But yeah, I mean they just had no overwhelming force, and for some reason the free folk is not really pressuring them anymore. Uh, they they lost Iron uh, Ironrath and Deepwood Mart, and I, I, they still haven't taken the Shadow Tower. I'm not sure what they're doing. They're not really attacking anything else. Perhaps all of the free folk are captured. That's possible too. I have no clue, um, but that obviously doesn't help us much. Now let's quickly check out the Atlas if the garrison has been rebuilt already. That would be very unfortunate, obviously. Terence Kenning there. I would like to convince him to join us. That'd be very nice. Um, yeah, and the garrison slowly rebuilding. Actually, quite quickly, in fact. So yeah, that was a huge waste of men and time. Uh, I mean, not that I would have necessarily been able to defend Hall, but we could have at least tried. And, oh, Damon Marbon of the Stormlands is besieging the Antlers. Interesting. Now, I mean, if, if the Stormlands take it, you know, that's... As long as Baron Apparel is freed, I, I don't really mind. So I suppose that's okay. Uh, I will go ahead and check the garrison, though. And I will probably drop off some, some more of these men here. Yeah, because I don't, I don't really need to have them right now. Um, yep, we'll give you all over here. You guys, I guess I'll keep for now. Um, and in fact, you know what? I'll probably give you guys over as well. We lost all of our elite faithful crossbowmen. Wow. Actually, no, that's not true. They're up here. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, let's uh, bring you back down, actually. Mm, yeah. Yep, and Sapton Robin will be uh, brought down as well. And we'll probably put the... Driftmark, Spearman, and the Endler Warriors here as well. And the Veil Lancer might as well. So, we have 
We have most. We have all of our elite troops. I have a lot of Runestone Knights that I uh, managed to buy from Runestone uh, because we have so much money now. Um, so we have basically all of our elite troops plus uh, Stormlander Man at Arms and Veil Archers and Veil Levy. So Dusk and Nails looking pretty good. Uh, we just need to. Uh, we just need to hold the rest as well. I think I'm gonna wait here for a while, just kind of to check out what's happening, and see if the Atlas is still on the siege. Septon Eddard has leveled up. Ooh, this might be really good because he might be ready. For a new, uh, yes, he is ready for a new engineering skill. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna give him that, and we have another point left. I could give him shield, but I think I'm actually gonna give him iron flesh just so that he survives a little bit longer. And we'll give him, hmm, I guess two handed. We'll bring his two handed up. Mm, yeah, that's okay. I don't think he needs pole arms really. Uh, perhaps, perhaps this big thing counts as a pole arm. Actually, that might be the case. But anyways, um, that's looking good. So we've got, in in the future, this means we should be able to siege this quicker. Uh, let me quickly check this out. We only got 88 men, obviously, so I'm not going to be sieging anything. Oh, there's a few, there's a few storm lords here. So me attacking this and weakening the walls was actually sort of successful, in fact. Huh, interesting, but there's still a few northern lords here. All right, you know what? I will probably go back to Duskendale. I mean, this is really good. 400 men here in the garrison, that looks mightily strong. We might have to buff the garrisons of, uh, you know, at least Dragonstone. The Claw Isle is Baringus, Baringus, uh province. He will, he will have to buff that garrison now. Um, I'm no longer responsible for this. I will take the levies here as well, uh, just to build up our, our forces. Okay. Well, I think I'll just... Uh, I think I'll stay here and uh, just kind of... Uh, assess this situation and if there's any battles going on or any opportunities I will cut right back. So after Hull had been taken over by the north um, I have basically just been waiting around here in Dragonstone a little bit and just kind of trying to assess the situation. A few important things are happening but uh, just now I'm not sure if you've uh, if you've seen it but uh, Sir Eamon has just finished reading the seven pointed star so that's really cool we'll talk to him and we'll, uh, well, first of all, we'll check out his skills, and then secondly, I would like to see, I would obviously like to get the book so that we can uh, give it to someone else. So let's talk about your skills. You have gained one extra point here in Charisma. Okay, so you can get one more leadership if needs be, um, and you can also get, well, also in, otherwise increase your intelligence. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you have got some weapon points. I might as well, you know what, I'll actually put them, um, I'll give you, I'll give you some more pole arms. Yep, that's nice. All right. Um, other than that, we have got some regular upgrades. Uh, yeah, most of our troops, I obviously have given into Duskendale. Duskendale is the last uh, town that we have, and we have to hold it no matter the cost. Duskendale, we can never lose. I mean, Hull is not really that big of a deal uh, because we have another town that is making us money. But without a town, we would just, you know, we wouldn't be able to survive. Um, I mean, we did do it for a long time, but it was very close. Um, so I'm, I'm glad that we have Dusk and I don't want to lose it ever again. Um, we upgrade you to Pool Fellows, and then we've got a few Silent Sisters. Um, that's okay. Now, I also uh, actually chanced... Uh, I mean, I didn't wait the entire time in Dragonstone. I did also uh, chance upon Lord Gorold Goodbrother, who I have now imprisoned uh, here in Dragonstone. So we got six Lords currently imprisoned. Uh, two Wester Lords, two Ironborn uh, Northerner and Kara Pike of the Night's Watch. Now, this is one of the things I want to talk about. The Free Folk have finally, after so uh, such a long time, have decided that it's time to besiege the Shadow Tower, and they have attacked it already. So, uh, since I assume they brought a bigger force, they will be able to take the Shadow Tower from the Night's Watch, and that will mean the Night's Watch will be gone. And this is good for several reasons. First of all, we're currently at war with the Night's Watch, so if we have a look at the factions here, um, we're at war with the Night's Watch, and that, obviously, the only Night's Watch Lord we actually got in contact with was, was, was called a Pike, uh, who was uh, constantly raiding our villages and stuff, and he's safely locked away in Dragonstone now, but still, having one less uh, faction to worry about is just good. And also, we might be able to get one of these lords, like I'm thinking about either Sir Danis Malister or Lord Desmond Staunton. Uh, if we were able to get one of them to join the Faith Militant, that would obviously strengthen our own position in the world. Um, for that, however, we would have to, I think at least, we need to have a castle or a province that is open. 
uh, that is um, that is open to anyone. So I'm not sure. Um, it would be cool if we could take the whole uh, right now. And oh my God, there's 64 car hold long bowmen. So this is not going to happen. Um, but yeah, if we could take something, uh, it would be really cool because then we would have an open uh, castle and an open open holding, and so that would make it more desirable for lords to join us. But they might join us regardless. I, I mean, you know, that's possible. Anyway, um, I think since, uh, as you can probably see, uh, Antlers have been taken over by the Stormlands, which means that Baring Apparent should be free. And uh, I haven't seen him around yet. So I would like to would like to check out where he is. But you know what? I totally forgot to take the book away from Amen. So let's quickly go ahead and do that. Um, let's talk about your books. Let us exchange books, readable books, and take it back. And uh, who's going to be the next to read? Now, I suppose the next I want to read is probably going to be Sir Bonifer. Um, yeah, so let's talk to you and let's talk about books. And I want you to read this. And yeah, I want you to read that book. I'm sorry that I can't read the... Se you can't read the Seven Pointed Star. Okay, well, let's take it back then. So your intelligence is not high enough. Let me... Let me check your skills. You had intelligence 9, so I definitely need to get that up. Uh, who else can I give it then? Is it, uh, hmm, Sir Lancel? You know what? I suppose, in that case, I might give it to Septon Ben. Uh, he should have enough intelligence. So let's talk about books. Um, yep. And I want you to read the seven-pointed star. Very nice. Okay, perfect. So he's gonna read that. Um, I mean, he's not... He hasn't got too much else uh, to do during the fights um, because, yeah, he obviously uh, just cares about the wounded. All right, so that is pretty good. We've got our prisoners, and still, I wanted to make, uh, I wanted to look for Baron Capani. He should be at the Claw Isle right now. Um, so, yep, there he is. Okay, so he's uh, already built up a few men. This garrison's still looking pretty good. Um, he even brought 67 Vale Archers. Oh, he trained them up. Look at that. He trained up the Veil Archers. We had 100 Veil Archers, and he trained them up. Oh, we had, no, we had uh, 80 Veil Archers, and he trained uh, 13 of them to Long Bowmen. Oh, that's very good. So he's training his troops as well. Interesting. Let's actually uh, see if we can talk to him, because I believe you can still upgrade uh, companions that you have made into Lords. Um, so, you know, perhaps he's ready for, for a new upgrade. That'd be cool. I might even give him either more Pathfinding, because he uh, often gets captured, or, uh, you know, oh, very nice, we actually uh, increased relations there. Um, I wish to ask you something, uh, have your skills have increased? Yes, that is what I want to know. They have not. Uh, his uh, weapon points, you know what, I'll give you more one-handed, and I guess, yeah, that's it. Um, you, but you don't, you only need like 200 more experience to get to the next level and then I think I will probably give him either more trainer or more pathfinding um, Yeah, okay. Well, that's cool. Um, so yeah, good journeys to you I think Beringer I will not call you uh, on campaign uh, right now because it, I think it's better for you to just stay here defend the claw isle because then uh, I can focus on Duskendale and Dragonstone myself, but we desperately need a few more lords, I feel like. And who? Oh, Roose Bolton has been taken prisoner by the Free Folk, but no news of the Shadow Tower yet. This battle is still raging. I would very much appreciate if that falls. Not because I support the Free Folk, hell no, but, uh, you know, the Night's Watch is not exactly on friendly terms with us, so you, you kind of understand why uh, I actually am rooting for the Free Folk. But we will have to get rid of the Free Folk, um, essentially, as well. Because they're threatening our realm with their savage ways. And uh, that certainly will not do. But yeah, um, the Antlers are now under Dusk and uh, under Stormlander control, which is good. If we manage to take Rosby, oh, that'd be so good. But Renly Baratheon has been taken prisoner. Not cool. That is certainly not good. Alright, well, hmm... Let's check out Drosby. I don't think I'm going to be able to attack it, um, uh, but, you know, we might as well check it out. Antos has been besieged by Rickard Karstark. I wonder if he's bringing, like, this huge army. The Riverlands have taken Silverhall. Sir oh, Dennis Malastar has been taken prisoner. Uh, Byron Foot, the Free Folk have taken the Shadow Tower. Lord of Bones has been taken prisoner. Okay, but that means, that should mean an end to the Night's Watch. I think we'll wait a little bit. And just see if that happens, because that's, as I said, 
one last uh, one last faction that we need to deal with. So I wouldn't mind. Um, so we'll just, yeah, perhaps I guess I, I should probably just go into Duskendale um, and just wait here. Uh, oh, also one thing I want to do, I want to manage this town. And I think I will build a training yard here because the training yard helps to train better troops. Um, to, to train better troops, yes. Uh, it's the most ar architecturally learned. Uh, okay, Septenado is going to build this in 33 days. Uh, we'll pay from the treasury, that's fine. And yeah, this training yard is going to help us out because we still got plenty of levy in here that needs to be upgraded to archers. And so, yeah, that, I think that will be quite useful. All right, so I'm going to wait around uh, and see if the Night's Watch will fall apart. So I'll see you in a second. Well, I didn't have to wait long. There it is. The Night's Watch is no more. So we're going to probably notice a few of the factions uh, in, in the uh, next couple of uh, days. Um, Hull has been awarded to Roderick Roosevelt. Uh, Nolan Goodbrother once again. Oh my god, I can't believe this guy. Why does he... Uh, actually, not the question, why is he keep doing it? How? Alright, I hope that we can capture him. This would be so cool. He's only got 23 men. Um, Alright, let's 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 just chase him. Uh, he's gone to main pool, this bastard. Nope, now he is. Alright, maybe he's gonna leave? I mean, perhaps. If he does... Ah, he's not gonna leave. Mm, this bastard. Alright, well, we'll at least try and pick up some more troops. But as I was saying, uh, so that means one less faction to deal with. And now we just... You know, we might have some of the fact to us. That would obviously be ideal. Um, I would love... I mean, I won't take Carter Pike or some, some people like this, but it would... Oh, Desmond Son has escaped from his captivity. Okay, so what does it mean? Where is he going to go to? Is he going to hide with the knight, uh, with the Faith Militant? I mean, I could imagine. Baring apparent is witnessing Crackler Point. Good to know. I like that you get updates about that. And who's this? Is this an enemy? No, that's uh, Donald Swan. Okay. So, yeah. No... No news. I wonder, is is uh, Carter Pike just gonna stay here now? I guess he's just gonna stay imprisoned. Um, all right. Well, that is that is certainly uh, good to know. Uh, I I will quickly upgrade a few more men. Um, I like that we have had such a high trainer skill. That makes it a lot easier. And we'll get some more longbowmen. Another silent sister, a poor fella, and uh, you can just. Actually, you upgrade to... Yeah, Halberdiers, that's fine. Alright, yep. Now, I will probably go to Ghoul Town right now, and I will uh, maybe go for another recruiting spade, because at the moment, Duskendale, um, or none of our castles, actually under siege. Baron Perrin kind of has this under control, and so I feel like we should just go for another recruiting spree here, and uh, perhaps get some more men, perhaps even some more runestone men. Uh, the North has taken Atlas. Okay, that was not really a big surprise. But there's still this big army. I wonder if that army is going to try and attack Duskendale. Uh, Commander Geo Mormon has been released. A lot of people have been released, but they can no longer be part of the uh, Night's Watch. That would be strange. There's nothing I can buy here. Alright, we'll, we'll make our way right to, to Runestone and see if we can get some more soldiers. Two cost two thousand one thousand. All right, I'll take them still. Cause getting knights like this is really good. I have been able to upgrade only one knight personally to the uh, to the heavy knight tier, and that really took a long time. So, yeah, I'll I'll take this any time. Um, we'll go to Bronstone. So yeah, I suppose I will just be running around. And uh, oh, what is this now? Word has reached you that invaders have landed in the reach and have taken the town of the Arbor. According to a man standing close by who recounts one of the m one of the numerous rumors spreading across the land, they're a half-man, half-beast. The man is shaking with fright as he describes their evil eyes, their black and golden armor, their helmets adorned with dragons, griffins, and skulls. Supposedly, they're the remnants of the men who have gone into exile in Essos over the years, twisted by greed, lust, loss, and madness into wild beasts intent on setting the world afire. In truth, it is the Selsud Company known as the Golden Company that has invaded to claim the throne for the son of Prince Rhaegar. A man nearby claims the son, 
Oh, a man nearby claims the son, named Aegon, was killed as an infant, but the Prince of Dorne, Doran Martell, has vowed to support his nephew, and the Dornish are on the march to fight alongside the Pretender. Okay, that is, uh, yeah, House Targaryen has declared war on the Reach, so this is the Targaryen invasion, and if you're wondering why they're attacking the Reach and not perhaps the Stormlands, that is because um, House Targaryen can, just like the, um, just like the Free Folk and just like the Ironborn attack on several uh, places. For example, the Free Folk could attack the Castle Black. In this series, they attacked Eastwatch by the Sea, whereas uh, the Ironborn, you know, they obviously went for the Westerlands and not for the North. So, um, yeah, that's why they attacked the Reach. But they also did declare war on the Stormlands, so I suppose it doesn't really make a, uh, much matter. They declared war, and Dawn has declared war on the Reach and the Stormlands as well. I'm not sure why they declared war on the Reach twice, but that is certainly... Interesting. So let's have a look at the new situation. So Dawn uh, is uh, oof, the Arba is held by House Targaryen. Oof. Wow, that's tough. I mean, Ashford has been taken by the Ironborn, Tumbleton uh, by the by the River Lords, and now the Arba by House Targaryen. And all of Dawn is supporting uh, House Targaryen here as well. <sighs> all right. Well, I think time has come that we need to make our own mind up about who is going to be the king. There are technically two, two pretenders, right? I mean, uh, Joffrey is dead, and uh, all the other Lannisters, the entire Westerlands are completely destroyed. Balon Greyjoy calls himself uh, the king of salt and rock, uh, but he is not of the seven, so we do not care about him. Uh, the king of the north, Rob Stark, does not interest us either, no, neither uh, the king beyond the wall, man's raider. So the only uh, faithful, uh, I suppose, faithful uh, king that we have is King Renly Baratheon. But, uh, well, he is gay. I, I suppose that this is, uh, this is something that the faith militant simply wouldn't support. We do not support his kind, and therefore we cannot accept him as king. So perhaps we should support young Aegon, if he even is who he claims to be. I mean, he has the support of Dawn. Huh. Well, this is actually uh, a bad timing, because we need to talk about this a little bit more in detail. So I will have to put a cut in here, but guys... The next episode is going to be very, very important uh, because that will define and decide uh, the future of this series.